Hi everyone and welcome to the show. I'm Patty Kim standing in for Boyd Madsen who's out on assignment. Up first we head to the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean for a story that I would call pretty sweet. Literally, you see farmers of cacao, that's the very essential ingredient that you find in chocolate. Well, they're working in unexpected ways to help save an endangered rainforest. Check this out. When envisioning the Caribbean, most people think of beautiful sun-soaked beaches. But the Dominican Republic may surprise visitors with its diverse landscape, ranging from coral reefs to rolling mountains, arid lands to lush forests. And in the north, the Loma Quita Espuela Scientific Reserve, the largest remaining rainforest on the island. With 18,000 acres, the area is home to exotic and endangered plants, birds, reptiles, spiders, and insects, some found nowhere else in the world. And the rainforest's rivers and streams provide fresh water to nearby communities. But several decades ago, this critical nature reserve came under threat of deforestation, in part because of the decline in the cocoa market. Cocoa, produced from the fruit of the cacao tree, has been grown for centuries in the Dominican Republic, and adjacent cacao plantations had protected the rainforest by providing enough wood and sustenance for local residents. But all this changed when cocoa prices steadily declined. Devastated farmers switched to more profitable cattle ranches, clearing their cacao trees. The rainforest would be next. Alarmed by what was happening, local citizens took action. And in 1990, the Moreno family founded the Loma Quita Espuela Foundation. Along with rangers, volunteers patrol the area daily, guarding against illegal poaching and logging. But protection alone isn't enough. Residents still need a way to make a living from the land. La Reserva Científica Loma Quitepuela estaba the scientific reserve is in danger, so we wanted to create a program that transforms the agriculture into organic products to better the economy. Jesus Moreno and his team helped farmers transform their cacao plantations into profitable enterprises once again by going organic. Organic cocoa sells at far better prices. It all starts with a seed. In their nursery, the foundation grows and distributes quality trees to local farmers. They teach farmers organic practices, and at harvest, they prepare the beans for international buyers. By uniting the small farmers in the area, they help them obtain a fair price for their labor. The final result? Cacao buyers produce exquisite chocolates enjoyed by people around the world and Dominican farmers receive a profit. With the foundation's help, more than 100 farms have already gone organic, and dozens more are on their way towards certification. Profitable farms reduce the likelihood of illegal poachers and loggers. But there's another benefit for the rainforest. Organic farms don't use chemical fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides, so the environment is cleaner and full of life. Now, each year, thousands of Dominican and international visitors tour the cacao plantations and the Loma Quita Espuela Reserve. They learn about the value of the rainforest from foundation guides, while educational programs teach children conservation and ecology. The youngsters take an active role in revitalizing their rainforest by planting trees in a once barren area. Thanks to the foundation's efforts, over half of the deforested areas have recovered. So by promoting organic cocoa, the foundation has safeguarded the rainforest and provided a new generation of Dominicans with the tools to protect biodiversity. 
Judging by what's happened here, success really is quite sweet.